All right, this is the finished product of my cauliflower steak. It don't taste exactly like a steak, y'all, but it is like what you call imitation almost. <laughs> this is a beautiful steak and it looks delicious and it tastes divine. If you follow this recipe, you can accomplish this little steak looking uh, dish right here. This is cauliflower and it can be one of those dishes that ones who want beef and want a steak when you sit there eating your steak and they don't eat one, you bring this out there to them and they would be so grateful and they put that a steak sauce on there and while you're talking and laughing and stuff, they're going to be thinking they're eating a steak. <laughs> this is how I'm going to tell you how to eat it. After this presentation, I will show you how to make this wonderful, delicious uh, cauliflower steak so you can serve that vegetarian, that steak looking. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating. And go to my website, soulfoodqueen.net, and get recipes that you might have missed and might want to try. That look like steak, y'all. Look at the onion on there, y'all. Oh, my goodness. It looks look like a little marbling right there, but it's not. It's a cauliflower. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating. Thank you for coming to my channel. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe, and this recipe is what I call my cauliflower steak yes there are peoples out there who do not eat beef and don't eat pork but they want a steak yes they desire to have a steak and it's not maybe not desire but i'm going to show you how to make cauliflower taste like steak yes indeed i want you to cut your cauliflower in half just like steak now, one of those little uh, ferrets came off, but that's okay. It don't matter. So we're going to do this. I'm going to show you what we're going to do, what we're going to use. We're going to use olive oil, liquid smoke, and we're going to use some mesquite from um, McCormick. And we're going to use fajita. Fajita mix, yes. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do We're going to put this on first. But first, we're going to let the hickory smoke penetrate the uh cauliflower so it can have that little smoky taste we'll be right back when we get through doing that as you can see i let the hickory liquid smoke penetrate the cauliflower Just turn it over let it sit there for about maybe five or six minutes let it get concentrated so it can have that hickory taste and smoke and we'll be right back I'm going to say about 10 minutes will be fine to make sure you accomplish that hickory smoke in this uh, cauliflower. Okay, now I added the mesquite Mrs. Stash on top and we'll turn it over to the bottom just like that. Be careful, you don't want to break the steak and make sure that it's all over like that and let that sit for a minute or two. And then we'll be right back with the next step. All right, next I add the fajita season on both sides. Make sure it's spread all out because fajita season has salt. So we're going to add that on top like that. Make sure that we have it all even over the cauliflower steak. And then next we're going to add some breadcrumbs. I forgot to tell you about the breadcrumbs. We're going to put the breadcrumbs on top so it can have a little char. So on the back and the front, just like this, breadcrumbs. And we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes so the breadcrumbs can get kind of wet a little bit. And then we'll be right back. All right, in the olive oil that's on top of the pan, in the pan, excuse me, in the pan, I add onions and I add garlic. What I'm doing is sauteing them so I'll be able to put the steak in so it can enhance that flavor of the olive oil and the garlic and the onion. All right, I add the, the cauliflower steak to the olive oil, the onions, and the garlic. I'm gonna gentle let this cook until it is golden brown on the other side. And that's gonna take about at least 10 minutes on medium because you want the cauliflower to be done inside and has that uh, moistness and doneness. We'll be right back.
This is my cauliflower steak. Don't it like a real steak with grilled onions and garlic and it's char on there like a steak? Supposed to be like a char right there, but it's not. It is a cauliflower. It's a cauliflower steak and it tastes just like, almost like a steak when you put that uh, steak sauce on it.